This workout is gonna rev up your metabolism while you build full body definition. This is a super effective workout today that is not only gonna burn calories during the workout, but we are gonna train in a way that is going to continue to keep our metabolism boosted as well as burn calories after the workout is complete. And the only thing you need for this workout will be some moderately heavy dumbbells. I'm gonna have a couple sets that I'm gonna go back and forth between. Pick something that's going to challenge you heavy, but doable throughout our 45 seconds of work. You're also gonna need your mat. And with that, before your muscles get too shaky, do not forget to give the like button a high five. And we are gonna get warmed up so we can get right into this awesome workout. So let's go ahead and start bringing heels to bum. We'll do a little march it out here. You can get the arms going as well. Always important to just take a few minutes to get warm, especially if you do your workout first thing in the morning. Getting warmed up is gonna help you go heavy right from the get-go, get right into your workout, and also help to prevent any injuries. So take this couple minutes with me. We're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do arm circles back. We're gonna work one side and then the other here in three, in two, and one. So plant those feet nice and solid, slight bend in the knees, one arm back. Nice big circles. Thinking about drawing a circle with your fingertips here. Here's three. We're gonna switch it to and one other side, take it back. Same thing, nice big circles. Think about that full range here. We're gonna alternate bringing one knee into our chest next here in three, in two, and one. So bring one knee in, Tuck it in and then switch. Keeping that chest up, getting your balance and then squeezing. One more on this side, then we're gonna take a wide stance and go into a slow sumo squat. So take those toes out. You can keep your hands on your hips, down, and squeeze. Weight stays in the heels. As you come up, think about pulling those inner thighs together, holding it down for a second, and up. Last one, hold it here. Bring those hands out right above your knees. We're gonna twist, so we're gonna press back on the legs, dropping one shoulder down towards the ground. Open up the hips here. Feeling that in the inner thighs as well. Feeling a little bit down the spine and those erector spinae muscles, getting it all nice and warm. Good, and from here, back center, round it up nice and slow. And we're gonna get ready to go into this workout again. Like I mentioned, we're gonna be training in a way that really is gonna challenge us and push us. So we're gonna work for 45 seconds, quick 10 seconds to switch and get our weight for that next exercise. So let's go ahead and get our dumbbells for our first exercise, which is narrow press. All right, so with the narrow press, palms are gonna be facing each other. Tuck your hips under, slight bend in the knees, and here we go. Exhale as you press up. So we've got four circuits today. We're gonna to repeat the first two circuits and then the last two circuits are also gonna be the same. Seven exercises in each. Almost through this first exercise. Remember, 10 seconds, we switch it up. We go right into the next exercise. That next exercise is going to be a squat with an alternation, alternating rotational press. Last one. So if you think you need to go down and wait, you can grab that now. We've got five seconds, get into squat position, arms up, and let's begin. Keep that core engaged. Good, power through. Almost there. 
Now I will offer modifications throughout, one for the next exercise because we'll be doing lunges. So if lunges bother your knees, you're gonna have a modification, you'll see that on screen. Last one, we're gonna go into that alternating forward stepping lunge, or you're gonna take the glute bridge modification. Whew, three seconds, here's two, shoulders roll back, here we go. Three exercises in, and I'm sure you can see what I'm talking about. We are pushing, maxing it out here. Seconds. We're gonna switch to a Romanian deadlift with a close grip row. And last one. So you can use one or two dumbbells for this. If you're using two, keep those dumbbells nice and close. Here we go. Drive those hips back, slight bend in the knee. We're at the bottom, bring it up, row. Squeeze, push the hips. Whew. Take your time through this exercise. We won't get many reps here. This is a nice, slow, controlled move. And really focus on form. So back is flat, core is engaged. Drive those hips to the wall. Whoops, drive those, yeah, drive those hips to the wall behind you. Almost there. Time for one more, and then we switch it up, just a basic squat, and you got it. Getting ready to go into squat, bring those dumbbells up on the shoulder, we go in three, here's two, and one. Keep good form, work at your own pace. Keep that chest up. Two exercises remain in this circuit. We're gonna bring it down to the mat for these next two exercises. First exercise will be, we'll hold a glute bridge and do skull crushers to really work the triceps. We'll get the core in there as well. You can modify by just doing skull crushers. Last one, and then we're gonna do chest press. So grab your dumbbells for both of those if you need to go up or down, and let's get ready. Getting right into that glute bridge, skull crushers. So bring the hips up or keep them down. Here we go. With the skull crushers, make sure that the only thing that is moving is your elbow joint. So you don't want your shoulders to fall forward. You don't want them to drive back. Just that elbow joint is moving. We extend all the way up to the top of the move. We're gonna be working chest press next, so it's gonna be a quick switch. Good, we've got three. Here's two, one. Grab your dumbbells for chest press, get ready to go into it. Roll it back, and here we go. In between circuits, you're gonna have 45 seconds to grab a drink, to dry off, to give those muscles a little shake. But until that rest time hits, I want you to push this. We don't change when it's easy. We change when it's hard. That's when we get stronger. So remember that, as this is really starting to get tough right now, you showed up, 30 minutes, that is it. Make it count. Under 10 to go. Good, this is three, two, one. Enjoy your break. We're gonna do that all over again. And so I want you to take this 45 seconds, like I said, grab a drink, dry off, 
but go over that first round that we just had. If you can go up on your dumbbell weight on any of those, make sure, take the note, get the dumbbells ready and do that. Whew. So I'm gonna keep these off to the side. I'm gonna try to go for 15 for the skull crushers. Legs are shaking. Oh my goodness. We are 15 seconds out. So get ready, get your dumbbells. Remember we have narrow press first. We go in 10 seconds. Oh. You're doing awesome. One more time, same seven exercises. Bring it up, we've got three, two, let's narrow press. Don't forget, use your breath right here. Exhale to power up. You can probably see from the first seven exercises, we've got some isolation moves like this shoulder press, but then we have some compound moves like the next exercise where we've got the squat and press. So we really have got a lot going on, challenging you in so many ways today. Switching it up, that squat to alternating rotational press is next. Last one. Whew. Rest it out, quick second. Then we go into it. Whew. Dumbbells up, here's three. Here's two and one. Again, exhale as you power through. Whew. Shoulders, my oh my. We're almost there. Remember, we've got that alternating forward stepping lunge next, or if the lunges bother your knees, you've got that glute bridge on the toes. Last one, 10 seconds, going for the lunge. Here's three, two, shoulders rolled back, let's go. You got it, I know. I'm shaking right with you right now. Keeping that chest up, make sure as you step forward, the shoulders are not rounding. Roll it back, keep it strong. And make sure you've got a nice confident stride here. You're not taking it too short. You're not taking it too wide. Just right. Five seconds, switch it up. Romanian deadlift to narrow press. And one. Five seconds. Three, two, shoulders rolled down and back. Let's go. Drive those hips back, keep those knees slightly bent. Dumbbells together. Roll. Did I say roll? Oh, I meant row. You know. <laughs> My words get shaky as we go as well. Almost there. Squat is next. Here's three. Two, one, squat is next. Five seconds, bring those dumbbells up, let's get ready. Remember, weight stays in the heels, chest up, head up, and let's go. Keep it strong, two exercises remain. We're gonna bring it to the mat next. Skull crusher in the glute bridge and chest press. And then we get that beautiful 45 seconds of rest. Oh my God. 10 seconds. Here's three, two, one. 
right to the ground for skull crushers. Now again, you have that modification, keep your hips down, just do skull crushers. Or if you want a little added core work, bring the hips up and here we go. Remember only the elbow joint is moving. Everything else stays. You're squeezing the glutes. Driving those hips up towards the ceiling. <sighs> Almost there. Final exercise in this circuit, chest press. And then we move on, seven new exercises. And whew, one, nice, hips down, chest press, we go in three. Here's two, let's go. Keep those dumbbells right at your mid chest line. So not over your face, not down towards your belly button. And wrists are straight. Exhale when you press up, you're almost there. Come on, remember, we're working to boost that metabolism, so I need you to push right now. These last few reps, super difficult. But get them done, you're here to get strong, and that's what we are doing. Oh, we got three, we got two. Woo, one. Oh, dumbbells off to the side. Oh, grab a drink, dry off. We're gonna bring it up. We are going. Enjoy this rest. Just over 30 seconds. So, next round through. Still gonna work the upper, still gonna work the lower. We have some more ab focused moves during this round though. So same thing, seven exercises. Time is gonna stay the same. We're gonna work through them once, then we're gonna repeat for two circuits through. So you've got 15 seconds. That first exercise is going to be a bicep curl. We're gonna work just the half or the top half of the bicep curl for three counts, then the lower half for three counts, then three full counts, just working through that 45 seconds. So grab your dumbbells for that. We go in three, in two, and one. Bring them halfway, halfway here for three. Now we're gonna bring it to the bottom, three counts, up to the top, or I'm sorry, halfway up. Here's two. Now we're gonna do full range, so all the way down, three reps. Work through at your own pace now, count your own. Ooh. Hammer curls are gonna be next, so we're still gonna work that bicep muscle. We've got three, two, that's one, nice. Quick break, hammer curls. If you can challenge yourself with heavier dumbbells, go for it. We go in five, here's three, two, let's go. Oh my word. <laughs> Remember with bicep curls, you wanna make sure that your arm is staying nice and close to your body. You don't wanna lift those arms up and away. Once you start lifting up and away, you're gonna be working the shoulders. And we are all focused on biceps right now. Isolating those biceps, building that nice definition in your arms right now. Oh my goodness. We get to switch it up to the lower body next. Just a sumo squat, so either one heavy dumbbell in the middle or two, one on each side. Here's three, two, one, let's get ready. I'm gonna use my kettlebell just because it's easy to grab, but legs out, toes out, and let's begin. Keep that chest up, push through the heels. Think about squeezing right here at the top. You squeeze those inner thighs together. Heart rate really gets up here when we're alternating between the upper and lower body. You may notice that. 
And I'm gonna remind you again, challenge yourself. We've got 10 seconds here. This is how we really push. Rear delt flies next. Here's three, two, one. Nice. Rear delt flies. So back flat, core engage, drive those hips back. And here we go. Think about controlling this up and controlling it down. Don't just swing the weight up and let it fall down. Think about controlling. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades around your spine. Good. We're gonna bring it back down to the ground next. We've got a glute bridge. We're gonna do a three pulse and then bring it back and then back up. Last one, nice. Whew. One or two dumbbells right on your hips and make them heavy. We've got three, we've got two and one. So here we go, bring it up, pulse it. Here's three, two, one, down to the bottom. Pulse it out for three. Now I'm gonna let you count your own pulses here so you can work at your own pace. But we should all be on the same page with form. That means weight is in the heels. Knees are tracking right over your big toe and you're driving those hips up. We're gonna start working abs next. I've got a modification for you for that one as well. So keep an eye on screen. Here's three, two, and one. So we've got that forearm plank. Again, you can take that modification. We're gonna alternate arms and legs out. Ooh. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Full body crunch is gonna be next. Good. This is three, two, one. Full body crunch is next. We've got five seconds. You get a break after this. This is the seventh exercise. Here we go. Now, if you're tapping your heels on the ground, make sure that low back is pre staying pressed into the mat. If you find your back is arching, only bring the legs about halfway down. But upper body, really think about getting those shoulder blades up, bringing those elbows to the knees, and exhale as you do that. Oh, oh my. I have some of the best news yet. We have one circuit after this. Come on, stay strong. This is three, two, one. <sighs> my, oh my. Breathe it out. We're gonna start that back from the top with those biceps. <laughs> Feel your biceps for a second. They are pumped up right now. How awesome is that? Oh, breathing. <sighs> one thing I want you to know about my workout. I am never gonna advertise to you five minute abs or do this every day and lose 45 pounds. I'm not gonna do that to you because that does not work. What I am gonna give you is workouts that work that will help you get strong body and mind. So when I am pushing you, know that I'm pushing you because I want you to be your best. So don't forget that. Let's bring it up. We're doing those biceps again. Three half, three bottom, three full. So, oh, where are we going? We got three, we got two. We gotta go, here we go. So pulse it to half. Whew. Now, bottom to top, three reps. Full range, three reps. Work at your own pace with this. 
But again, keep that form, arm tucked, arms tucked nice and close to your body. Shoulders rolled down and back. Chest is up. Finish strong, you're almost there. Hammer curls are next. That's three, two, one. Oh my goodness, hammer curls. We've got three, two, and one. Here we go. Um, man, I was trying to stick with my heavy weights, but I know my form is gonna get just wacky. So drop your weight if your form is starting to get questionable. Because I can tell you, even though I just went down, what, five pounds? I still feel it. Whew. Form, overweight, all day, every day. That's why I constantly remind you of your form because I know even for me, I need the reminders. <sighs> Sumo squat is next. This is three, two, one. Get your one heavy dumbbell in the middle or two on each side for this sumo squat. You know what, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna go two on each side, legs out wide, and let's go. Squeeze. Exhale as you push through those heels, you squeeze those inner thighs. Almost there. This is three. Here's two and a one. We've got rear delt flies. So grab your dumbbells for that. A-OK. -okay. Oh my God. Back flat, core engaged, and here we go. One thing to help you keep your back flat. Think about sticking that chest out, bringing those shoulders nice and strong. So good posture here, even in this position. So if you're like this, no, stick that chest out towards the ground and your bum back towards that wall behind you. And you've got a slight bend in your knees. Glute bridge with the three pulses is coming quickly. Here's three, two, one. Let's move it down to the ground. Glute bridge with three pulse, roll it back in three, two, one, here we go. Nacho's making a nice pillow today for me. <laughs> oh, I'm not three pulsing. Don't forget to three pulse. <sighs> I know we're getting close to the end of this round. Do not hold it long at the bottom. It's a quick tap. We go right back up. We pulse it. We are keeping ooh, tension in those glutes, tightening them up. Firming and burning right now. Is that a thing? It's a thing today. Firming and burning. <laughs> Here's three, two, one. We've got that ab round, those two tough exercises to work the core and abs, forearms, or you've got that modification on hands and knees. And let's go. Now when you lift, hold it for a second so you can get that squeeze in the glutes. And when you do this, you can feel, you kind of want to open up a little bit. But we are challenging the core right now. Those stabilizer muscles to help keep everything square and not rotating open. Final exercise, full body crunch. This is three, two, one. 
Roll it over, full body crunch. Remember, you can add the tap with your heels if your low back is staying pressed in. If not, legs halfway, and here we go. Get those shoulder blades up. Those hips are coming up, the shoulder blades. This is full body. Exhale with the crunch. Oh, you have done so amazing. I'm telling you what, if you were not in the mood for a workout, you have just done yourself the biggest favor. After this, you're gonna feel so accomplished. You're gonna be able to take on anything that this day has for you today. I'm gonna tell you that. You're stronger and your metabolism is gonna be all revved up. Ooh, this is three, two, oh, one. Oh, all right. You need to head over for a stretch because that was tough. Muscles probably gonna be a little bit sore. So get a stretch, it's gonna make you feel so much better. It's gonna close out our training session together in the best way. I'll see you for the stretch. Do not forget, if your muscles are still shaking, high five the like button. I love you. I'll see you for our stretch.